Oh man, this event is just so god. May hey, I know. Maybe we should take a look on the website. That's right. We'll go on the thing. Oh, here we go. Our latest update brings terrifying tales of please don't feed the vampire to life of Horror Town. If you're hungry for some new content, chow down right now. Oh no. I see there's a lot of angry faces. I wonder what the comments have to say. I've been playing this game for almost a year and I loved and enjoyed everything about it up until now. This event sucks! I spent 450 to get a new character, only to have to spend 200 plus more to complete the quest. Really wasn't fair. This event sucks! Still stuck on getting the 25 films credit you need to even start the story! I just looked in my countdown for the event it was supposed to end in a few more hours. Let me have to extend it. I'm not happy. I spent around 500 Goosebox bucks trying to grind it for an altar in time. Angry face. So I'm not happy with this event. Can't even play through the story. I'll wait till the event ends is up to pain not even spending any more money on it. Horrible, impossible event. Prices are way too high. Time is very limited. I'm so upset. 800 film reels? Really? I've already spent over $200 real cash this month on it because I loved it. And then you pull this. Something impossible so I can't even finish the story. What is going on? It would be a great event if you could actually make some progress. It's impossible to get this special item without spending real money on it to new monsters. Not to mention that you can't even experience the story since you don't even get enough afford the cash and 405 for each of new characters is way too much high. In the early events, you made new characters you could buy with coins, only one with dollars. It's kind of the worst event to date, mainly because the price like everything is G-Bucks and they are nowhere near cheap. I spent almost a thousand and I'm nowhere even close to being done. <laughs> I hope you like them talking heads, uh, same as ever was, a little joke I did there. But, uh, welcome back to the third and last part to this Goosebumps Horror Town awaited Please Don't Feed the Vampire event. Now, here comes the fun part, the thing that I try to avoid for most of the time because of certain issues. But, this has been taking a few days after, uh, the two other videos I've done here, so it's, it's, some things have happened in the background. I will talk more about them in the s September update. Hopefully by then there will be more information, but until then, I won't really say anything for now. Uh, but I will keep things updated as they go along. But anyways, let's talk about this video we're watching now. This video is going to be taking about the next new character, which is Fifi, and we've seen a little bit about her in part 2, and yes, as I hint or I showed, uh, I'm using certain audio clips from my actual puppy, which she's not really a puppy anymore, she's in like two now. So, that's, you know, she's a big girl. But yeah, I figured, you know what, Fifi is a poodle, she's a girl, she's a female, so it's like, you know, I have a female dog, I mean, she's white. It, yeah, fine, well, it will work out. Though I've kind of played around with the audio a little bit to make this a little bit more enduring and entertaining because you know how it is. Anyways, uh, this video we're going to be talking about uh, the last little bit of stuff and to show you what you've missed. So, here we go. So as we start off, the bundle comes up with the Fifi pack. Uh, it comes with Fifi. It has her statue, which is a unique item. It comes with the, um, blood tree. I'm just gonna refer to it as the blood tree. A hundred, I think that's a hundred of the in extra inventory space, from what I see here. As well as 280 bucks and 500 reels, and the price is still way up there. You know, like, the bundle itself, if it was for 12, then yeah, it would be not worth it, but... I have extra cash. So... You know, I have a hard-working job, so I can do this so that you don't have to, so you get to see some of the stuff. I don't buy all the packs, mind you. Some packs I avoid just because 
like you'll see in this update in this video that there was one particular pack that came up that I didn't bother with and I'll explain more about that when it comes up but anyways we're gonna see this blood tree here put it with the rest of this uh, makeshift Yavani's house turning into a film set could you imagine the poor the poor woman she ends up building her mansion sitting here by herself and all of a sudden, it's like film crews coming in and just putting films all over the place on this ancient mansion house. The other thing interesting, too, about this is the this whole... The way this whole thing kind of came out. Because I would never have thought that this vampire event would actually lead into an actual film event. You would think that something would be fitting for, like, a shock on Shock Street. But no, no, not this game. This game decided to do it with uh, the vampires, so, you know, it's what it is. So before we go for Fifi, let's put her statue. Her statue actually looks a little bit more cooler compared to her, um, Yvonne's. And, yeah, I know, the last two videos and stuff, I called her Yvonne because of the E, but the E is silent, so it says Yvonne. So... I know people are gonna comment on that and be like, hey, no, it's not how you say her name. I know. I'm gonna use Google's Translate now for every time. It's like, what, what does this word say? And then I'm gonna have it read to me. So I go, okay. So if, hopefully Google doesn't screw with me. Also, for some reason, every building here is red. I don't know why. It's very strange. Everything that's just turned blood red. Very creepy. Yeah, so I'm just clicking ahead. Now, I have an ideal place of where to put Fifi's house, but unfortunately Brooke's house is way over here, so I'm going to have to put it way down here in between these two houses. I'm not sure who lives here, but uh, yeah, we're going to pretend this is where Fifi's going to live for now. But hey, I'm going to get a quick look. So let's have her down. Fifi's now been unlocked. And there she is, walking around, like the little poodle that she is. We're going to take a quick look at her and see how we can see that face. Oh, look at that. It's adorable. <laughs> All right, so here comes the dialogue for this event. So here's some more from the puppers. Here we go. I never trust dogs. They tend to look at us skeletons as a collection of bones to chew on. Well, poor Curly. Brooke, however, has a very different view. She adores her pet poodle, Fifi. Fifi, you're just the bestest doggy woggy ever. You're the sweetest schmoopy, aren't you? Oh, oh, the dog pun. Oh, oh. <laughs> the doggy talk. Oh, I need your boobie boobie boo. It's like, uh, uh, when I voiced that, that was very cringe-inducing for me. Even now, I'm just like, ooh! Alright, Fifi scratches fleas, so we're gonna see this go up here. And, uh, a nice animation of that. She buries bones, do tricks. Uh, I believe wait at the entrance. I'm not sure whose house that is. I don't think it's Brooks. Scratch fleas, which we've seen. Take a nap. And... Dirt the hallway is... Oh, dirt the hallway is in the meal time, so... There's only three animations for her, which I'm going to show off. So the first one here is going to be that of Scratching Fleas. So we're going to take a quick look into this. So let's do that right now for 10 minutes. Oh, there she goes. Alright, here we go. Maybe we'll get a good face. Oh, we get to see her scratching herself. So she's walking, stops, scratches. Um, I think at some point I actually did get a good look at her, like, walking with faced up, coming here. Yeah, so, here we go. There you go. I love how they kind of give it the little dot eyes to make it, like, you really do make these things look cute. So, kudos to that. They did that with the rabbits as well, so I was a sucker for that. Again, like, this is where I have a problem with this event, like... There are certain elements here that I do enjoy, but at the same time, I think the execution of this was going to be very, ooh. And, um, 
I'll talk more about this near the end of the video, but um, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'll talk more about this at the end of the video because I've been in this point of out oh, out. Oh. See, even now I can't say anything because I'm at this point of just deny, not denial, but more or less like, oh, do I or do I not? Mm. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how things turn out. But, um, yeah, that's a lot of money for something like that, and I'm just not happy about it. So now we need a bunch of these, and I have enough for them, so... Just need to put a place for this mess. By the way, this is just temporary place. Near the end of the video, I'll show you the final, what everything looks like. To the last, I need two more of these, and then we can continue on with the event. Also, there is a joke with one of the last quests to come up, and this is probably the biggest reason why people despise this event. You know, it being short is one of them. But this, but near the end here, I'm going to point it out when it comes up, but this is probably one of the reasons why a lot of people disliked it. So, let's just put this down here, and here's the next quest, so here we go. Boop, boop. So, some silly pooch ate the vampire pack and went vampiric. This is an unanticipated outcome. Oh, man. man that's, that sucks to be you then, isn't it, Yvonne? But I cannot worry about it. My task here is to find my beloved Count Nightwing. My true identity must remain a secret. I can't risk getting discovered by interfering in human affairs. Yeah, which you caused, by the way, because you just need to know where your husband was. Countess Yavani must be here on the film set. We just have to find her. Brooke, it's Count Yervon. No, you're in English better. Pass me. Don't worry, Brooke. We'll track her down, and we'll force her to make Fifi a normal dog again. There he goes, Ricky being. So, you children are looking for me. It seems my desire for anonymity is in vain. Uh-oh. But I have a question for you. What would you do if you found a real vampire? <sighs> oh, spooky. And here's the spookiest part. Let me go and reenact what exactly people thought when they saw this. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, that must be not that bad, right? Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, man. 800K? 80,000? Film reels? Are you mad? Ten days? And this? No! There's no way this can happen. Yeah, this, this right here is the biggest reason why people despised this event. This was a forced stop. Which sucked. Anyways, next part to the quest for Fifi. Fifi, you're my faithful companion for years, but I never get tired of having you at my side. <laughs> Let's brush your coat so it's nice and shiny, and then we can put a bow on your head. Won't that be fun? Yuck! I can't take much more of this sweet doggy talk without throwing up! I agree with Curly, but hey Curly, you have no esophagus. How can you throw up? It's so nice and sunny out today. I think I'll take Fifi on a walk. <coughs> Look, Fifi, that lady's dressed all in black. And she has an umbrella to keep the sun off her. How odd. Pardon me, child. Are you local? Can you possibly answer a question for me? Yo, know, this is the only sucky part about Fifi. You need Ivani in order to finish this quest. So Yavani is probably one of the, uh, not the best when it comes to dialogue and stuff where people despise because it's like, oh, you need a lot of stuff to feel, to finish her quest. And then Fifi is like, oh, it has none of that, but you need Ivani in order to participate. So it's like, ah, oh, hand in hand. And this is the suckiest part too. 
you have two characters that are basically premium, and yet there's no way to actually get them. And this is just an idea I'm going to throw out there. But seeing how the characters are going to stay behind, maybe let's have these characters for the event be able to be purchased through event currency. And then after the event ends, then put them through premium pricing. That will probably make a whole lot of stuff better. And there will still be people who buy into the, the, the bundles. And this might just be me, all right? And then we're gonna take a look, quick look at what Fifi looks like when she gets activated through the scare scene here. But uh, anyway, so just gonna get a quick look at her. I wanna see her face. I wanna see the face. Here it comes. Oh, that is a butter face if I ever did see one. All right, we're done with that. I'm gonna have her just be active for here for a while while I'm in this little rant talking thing. Um, this is a suggestion I wanted to throw out there. When it comes to, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to be curious about this, I wonder how much profit they actually went when it comes to bundles when it came to the Valentine's Day update that happened way back in the beginning of this year. Because if they were able to make a profit with the bundles, I would suggest them doing the same thing they did there where the characters were all available through purchased in currency. And then after the update ends and when they come back, to come back in a premium state and the reason I say this is because other games have done this before too where you get the characters you can unlock them and then afterwards they become a premium price right to encourage people oh yeah and then she's stuck again too on um, one way because of course she is oh man so yeah I mean you can see right now why people really despise this event and some people just gave up and said screw it in fact, and I'm going to talk more about this in the next update video, but the next update video suffered badly because of this event here. Let me tell you how bad this suffered. Or, this this event. This has the Sonic 06 to Sonic uh, Unleash here. This is how bad it is. It was so bad, people just didn't even bother the last event. I, I usually do these poll things within the community. I only got three responses back from the last one. Not with this one. This one had a lot more. But that just to show you, people just said, screw it. Oh, and this is a cute thing. This is her next animation. Her, She pretends like she's, she's people. Look at that. Look at that. Look how cute that is. And that's a very talented dog, by the way. The fact that she can just be able to walk like a human being for that long without having to put down her four paws, so... Kudos to the dog, man. You really... That's some... That's some very... That's some upper strength in the legs, I must say. Meanwhile, Brooke is just dancing here. Sorry, I'm just, just thinking. Alright, so we're gonna set her for an umbrella. So lucky for us, we already have her. So, you know, it's not gonna be too bad. And for people who ended up missing out on the quest lines and all that stuff, yeah, hey, I got this video here for you, and uh, I'm trying to entertain. I try to entertain, but this is one of those things where I've tried to regret not wanting to do them, and you can see why. And, um, yeah, a lot, a lot happened here. Now... I believe, I'm not sure why I've activated Cynthia over there, but, you know. I'm trying to recall exactly what I was about to say here, because... Okay, there were some things about this event that I, that I did enjoy, but... Um, for the most part, I think this rubbed people off the wrong way, especially since we've gotten used to how other previous events happened before. And, um, I heard within the ether what's kind of been going on, but I can't, I'm not 100% sure really, because, um, yeah, you see, this, this event has gotten, this event has made me kind of blank face. That's how bad, that's how bad it is, but no, I'm not, I'm not gonna go too much and too much in depth here, but what I will say is that um, 
yeah, this this has not been uh, a fun ride for everybody. So we're gonna be waiting until we get this. Uh, I'm taking the spy glasses. I think uh, that video, bef what I've been showing off, was characters that can actually obtain the spy um, binoculars. So now we should be done with that. So now we just need to get uh, Slappy and I believe another character as well. I will say that this event, the worst event, made me so you, like. It's, it's, why is it that it's like Mr. Flussman, anytime he's useful, it's in the worst event, right? He was only useful for what was previously the worst event, which was the, uh, the alien one. And now here comes the vampire one. He's useful here, and yet it's the worst one. What? Why is, why is that? Why is he so cursed, right? Now I'm very scared. Anytime it's like, oh, he's useful for this event, now I'm going to be like, oh no, this event's not going to go so well. I don't want that to be the case, but uh, let's go ahead and click on uh, Slappy and let's hear the next part to the quest. You see, I'm a, a history buff. I heard there was a legend of an ancient castle near here. I've heard that story, but no one knows where the castle is. It's supposed to be full of vampires. I'd still love to see it. If you do hear anything about the castle, please come tell me. Yeah, I would like to eat so. <laughs> you can find me on the film set. This asks for Countess Yavani. Even Countess Yavani doesn't know her name. Oh dear. I'm so glad you came to walk with me and Fifi, Ricky. I... I enjoy spending time together. Me too, Brooke. You see, I have deep feelings for, uh, hey. Is that a vampire? Ooh, I'm coming to drink your blood! <laughs> of course, Marty. Fifi, stop chewing on the box you just dropped. I'm sure it's not good for you. Yeah, so now you're getting a bit of context for everything here. So, we got place dog toys, which we already got from, uh, uh, the werewolf, and then now we got the other thing from werewolf, so all we need to do now is have her bury bones. Which we're gonna show off right here. I'm gonna have her bury some bones. So, right here. Oh, nice! She's digging right through the, uh, the poor Yvonne's gate. <laughs> I had some other funny animations with her digging in other places, like through the garden. Like, like I'll I'll point it out when it comes up here. But here comes the end for Fifi's quest. So here we go. Let's let's see how this ends. Oh, did your little doggy woggy eat something funny? I hope it doesn't give her gas. <laughs> Look, Fifi's changing into something. She must not be as purebred. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, uh, call off your mutt, Brooke. It's it's coming for me with murder in its eyes. Help! Man, that's how it ended. <laughs> Marty was never seen again. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so now this is the only thing we need to do. Uh, obtain the vampire kit, which is apparent because I'm going after the, the big quest anyways. And, uh, and then I have to deal with this, this bulky thing that doesn't look good at all. Not worth that price. 700 altogether. That's, that's no, no. See, this is the problem. I don't like when the game's doing this Roblox, like, oh, well, we need people to uh, the, make it feel longer. I know, we'll just do this. And I'm just like, no, that's not how you do it. Come on. Whatever. Anyways, we got some of this stuff, and uh, let's just show you where I'm at. I got all this stuff done here. So, really, I just need to focus on the vampire kit, honestly. That's the only thing I need to do. The actual spray cans, like I stated before, is done. So, I don't have to really focus so much on that one. But, uh, yeah, everything else is just... Yeah, it's going to take a while in order to get that. But I'm, 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 I'm making some progression. Also, I just wanted to show off. I didn't get to show this off. This is Fifi's house. This is how much it drops coin-wise. And I think I'm going to show off Countess Yvonne's mansion. 
So you get a good idea of how much money she drops in percent. So there you go. The Countess's Mansion. So there you go. That that's the uh, Vampiric Quest. You get the Junkabo Tree for all that stuff. No, not worth it. Sorry. You know what? For these stuff, they should put it in items that is not really worth that much. That's my opinion, but whatever. Oh yeah, and this is what I was talking about with her kind of doing. Oh whoa whoa whoa! Hey hey wait a minute, Mr. Mortman. Oh wait no. Hey hey officer officer. Like, go back, go back. The the Mr. Fleshman is doing something with Ricky. Oh no, I don't like this. <laughs> oh, I don't like this at all. I just hate the positioning on everything, and that yet no one cares. Not even Ricky. So okay, whatever. Yeah, so you can see the progression coming slowly for the um thing. See, there's not much to say here right now because it's like basically just waiting for items because there's nothing more to the dialogue, right? And most of the items I've basically gotten now. This is how much is left. I got this, which means that now I can unlock this. So, slowly but surely, I'm getting all the items. Or all the land unlocked, so that's good. Oh, and we got this! A sale! Oh boy, buy now! Uh, no, I'm okay. Five days left, this is how much I have here. And you might have noticed I've started to pile up on um, a certain uh, material. And that's partially because of the fact that uh, there's something that's going to come up. Because uh, I forgot to mention this, but the, the, the quest came up a lot earlier than it should be. Usually they're for the weekend, but for some reason this time around, this does not appear to be the case. Also, the land's now unlocked, so... We got more areas to play with. Four more days left. And this is how much we got. And I'm nowhere close to getting this, uh, that price here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy all the other items to try to get as close to being 100%. That's possible. So at least I can, at, at least I can go ahead and say that I got everything but the big bulky piece of crap. May not be the 69, yeah. Uh, this will probably, at first I would usually joke and say like, oh, this is probably the first time I'm not going to get 100%, but come on, you know me, I've, I've gotten 100%, and I haven't really actually bought the stuff. You'll see what I mean coming up, but there's a reason why they kind of had this event, uh, mini event be pushed during the week. And, uh, you'll see why in a minute, but... I'm gonna put some candles here because I think you need to. I took away. Uh, ten dollars for a premium um, decoration like that's not a bad price. I mean, if you want to look at it, it's basically one day's worth of watching ten ads. So there's that. Uh, I got this other film camera. There's a lot of film cameras, by the way. So we got this one now. That's always nice. Uh, let's see what's the next thing we need to do. Um, uh, some lighting now. So we just need to do some lighting. Got this one for 20. Not that bad. And we just need one more. Which is right here. I'm eliminating. So let's do this. Put this here. And there you go. Look at this. Her, uh, the Countess's mansion area is a big mess. Isn't that nice? Oh, man. The uh, whole thing kind of comes together. But, um... Yeah, this is certainly something interesting. But, oh well. Uh, so let's go ahead down here. And this is the only thing I need now. Is this big building that has nothing useful for it. And I don't know where to put it. It's just a big eyesore, so... Yeah, that's nice. I guess that's it for this review, right? Well, not really. Because... They're now letting you buy this. With this kind of stuff. That's a lot of items, by the way, to just craft in order to get this. So that's kind of crappy on their part. Had they wanted to give some face, they would have actually allowed us to use normal items instead of the event items. But, as you can see, I've actually been trying to get all the items here. I've decided to 
goal for, and here it is. I finally finished after four days left. I got all the vampiric kit. I got small packets, the vampire costume, and the vampire repellent. All together brings us to this vampire, vampire altar, which looks very... The very cool design, I will say. It's not that bad. I've seen worse. So this one's actually not a bad altar. This is well, not an altar, but you know, the prize. It looks pretty cool. Also, I don't know why the um, the 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 acorns are still there. They they were fine for the the event, not the um, the camp event, but they are really small. I don't know what's going on there, so let's just see this. So yeah, it's all done. Can't buy any more. Got some nice blood pool going on here. Every three hours, uh, every four hours drops at least 200. So not that bad. Right, so people are scared. We got that going on. Now, now the last thing to do is to finish the quest line. In which means I have to craft for the next four days or next three days I have to get all the supplies for this and that's why I just started to craft with the repellent because I had um, rumors telling me that this was gonna come up so I decided to go ahead and do that and I guess to give it a comparison so three days you know this popped up so I figured I want to show that off uh, nothing really improved unfortunately I think I also wanted to show you one of the new requests that was added to mr. wood here which I believe was this one and the reason why is because um, it actually is animated and here's the thing some of it is like yeah it's animated but not really if that makes sense it's like nothing new animations it's just kind of recycled but they're using it in a new area so we're gonna just wait for him to take his sweet sweet time to get to where I need him to go and then uh, can go from there oh right I decided to do something that isn't animated so you get to see he's going to the blob and uh, it's a timer so he's hidden inside the blob so there we go there it is. That's nice. <laughs> Alright. So, mad lad that I am, I ended up getting all the supplies needed for this stupid item. So I'm now, 20, sec 20, hours, two, 20 hours to spare, I unlocked this stupid thing, which means that I have 100%ed the game, and... I've also gotten through this, so let's go ahead and see where this leads into. So let's just find a good place to put it, and then we get to show you the dialogue you've missed. So here's the final conclusion to this whole uh, main quest line, anyways. Let's let's see this. I feel sorry for Fifi, but we need to keep running from the vampire and the vampire dog. You're a vampire dog. Don't look back, Brooke. Fifi isn't uh, your dog anymore. The vampire spill has her. I just wonder why they haven't caught up with us yet. Because like you, they're tired. They're like, eh, whatever. It took too much effort. Don't wonder. Just keep running until we're safe. Good idea. Just keep on running while we're safe. And uh, with that... <laughs> Yay! Great job! What, 150? What a great reward! Oh! Isn't that worth it, kids? No! <laughs> it's not! Oh, the quest just ended very... Ooh... Um, stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's more or less things like that. And, uh, we got... Two days left in this event. I ended up getting 100% on everything. But it was really, I had to put timers on this event every time. So when a character was said, oh, it's done, I had to stop what I was doing, go into my game, do the thing, come back. It was like a chore. Not. It was no longer something to do for fun. It was like, no, I need to do this. Like, oh, hold on, everybody. I'm going to pause real quick. I'm going to do this. 
And uh, poor Mr. Wood, he's forever trapped over here. So that sucks to be him. With that, that's about it for this event. Or so I thought. Because this has been late, I'm going to show off something else that came up uh, in the ether. Namely, uh, to show you the past, up once the update ended and all that type of stuff. But um, something bizarre happened. I don't know why this happened the way it did. And it was so... This just added more fuel to the fire. Just because it was just executed so badly. You might be wondering what that is. Well, to put it bluntly, and to be nicely as possible, the last hour of the game, all of a sudden, like within 24 hours left until the event ends, this happened. When the game lo when the game is loading, hold on. I love it when the game says kind of buffering here. Okay, this happened. Oh, 10 days. 10 days! You added 10 more days to this event. Yup. Because on their Facebook post, they said this. Extra week, complete the event, get the final reward. And you can tell everyone was upset. Because I just finished the update thinking I had no time left. But here we are. Here we are. This, this is just... For some people, they ended up getting the art altar, so they're happy about that. But this whole thing was just executed so badly. Anyways, here's something else I wanted to show off with one of the anim newer animations. Quote, unquote. Uh, Mr. Wood being upset he can't go into the mutant's lair because he has a very cool lair. Anyways, the update ended. And, uh, yeah, we still got this going on here. Like all the good events do, they they tend to have this linger on until uh, a post update comes up and says nope. But yeah, um, yeah. As you can see, the updates no more. Uh, things are still lingering on. Uh, the interesting thing about with these two new characters is that because they have their items, uh, some of their quest items be already normal, their quests aren't fully locked away until the update hit so that's interesting but um it's 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 hard to say i you can tell a lot of emotions were going through not just me but with the community i was i'm basically just uh, 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 what's the word emulating what people probably been saying here uh, I believe most of these quest lines are just basically them going to said building and then a clock appears so there's nothing new. I'm not gonna bother. Also, I don't know what's going on over there with that, uh, that glitched thing, but, uh, yeah, there you go. And, um, yeah, and then there's your Yvonne. And, uh, yeah, same things as before. Nothing really new there. So, whatever. Oh yeah, and then we get this. Get an exclusive, $9.99. Still too much for what they're asking for. But, yeah, there you go. There's there's this that came up. And now the event is done. <laughs> and then the, the event is done. They finally give me this. So I'm glad to see this here. And, uh, yeah. And, of course, something new they're starting to do now filming set pack so this is what appeared for me and if you're curious if you don't have everything it originally actually came with Fifi so this is what it actually looked like so not a whole lot and then also both these characters are here now so there's that uh, for 450 so that's new and uh, yeah so I decided to of course, I'm going to decide to buy, but yeah, the update finally hit to take down update, and as you can see, some of her quests are back again. And so is uh, Yvonne. Her quests are back again. And they dropped the same items that they did during their, their quests, so there's that. So yeah, I bought it because getting the film set, and then it comes with another thing. So now, you got a little piece of the scenery, uh, or the screamery from the past event. So now, 
now this thing can haunt me for the rest of my days and say, hey, remember this? Yeah, remember how fun this was? And I'm like, no. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, so it's a bit of a mess right now, but it's coming closer to the end of the video, so you're gonna get to see all the, all the pieces I have, what I ended up doing with it. But yeah, here's, um, here's the, uh, the event area. And here's the thing, I actually like this scare scene. Don't get me wrong, I actually think this is pretty cool. But yeah, this is what it dropped. Uh, you know, 20, 30, 40 caught. And of course, it allows you to drop the small packets. So, again, these aren't really needed for anything. But these these are here just in case for like, hey, I want a, a, I want these, these scare scenes for some reason. So this is what these are here for. From what I understand, so let's just enjoy that for what it's worth. I'm just letting this play out. I just wanted to see uh, how this looks. You know, it, it, it's pretty much normal from before. And uh, a lot, of, someone was saying that, oh, this looks like uh, Countess Yvonne, but it's it's not. Like I've mentioned before, this kind of gives off a. It's weird because it kind of reminds me of a Elmira slash uh, Vampira look, or a Motissa. I think that's what they were going for here. And uh, not that bad actually. So there's there's that. But yeah, uh, get the vampire set, and uh, this is all the stuff that does here. So there we go. We got this. Uh, here's the one example I talked about. Another uh, thing that popped up: vampire pack. Look at that! It comes with an exclusive tower, but it also comes with a clock tower and the um, uh, a mausoleum. Uh, and this one, this is how it looked fully. So if you were to buy this pack. You would be able to complete her quest, no problem. And um, yeah, this this was kind of like uh, didn't really go so well. But this is the final result. This is what it looked like. This is what I did. And as you can see, I made her her event area look pretty busy. But I thought it looks pretty cool for what it is. You know, could be worse. I made I made a. Uh, I put an actual chair right beside here, and it's like under the smaller table, so it makes it look kind of alright. And uh, we'll end it off with uh, Yvonne looking on her clock tower. I don't know why she has a clock tower, why not? She, It's a prop. It, it's not a real clock tower. Just just get over it, whatever. I don't know, just, just leave me alone. This event's done. So that's it for this event. This is it for the video. So, as I mentioned before, here's the thing. Normally, the next part of this video would be a review. And uh, I actually made a title card here. This was going to be the review. So let's just put this right now. I am not going to do this because there's no point in reviewing it. If you're curious, here's the, here's the card. This is this is what I did for the card, okay? I hardly there was hardly any good things to say about this event. Most if not everything is bad. Do you want to know where this placed overall with the events? Here it is. Are you surprised? I was surprised. Look where it is. Way at the bottom, right next to side Mr. Useless's item uh quest, the second one. Isn't that great? I don't know what happened here. This whole thing was executed poorly. And it kind of showed. And that's the sucky part about this whole thing. And uh, uh, most people wondered why this happened the way it did. And I have a theory. And I'm not sure if this is true. But remember a while ago in July, I posted a video that said, Oh, a new game is coming out. The Addams Family. I have reason to believe that some of the team decided to kind of went busy to work on that and left with only a little bit of people left behind and thus we got this and I'm going to be honest with you this doesn't feel like an event this felt like this should have been a permanent update in fact I thought 
originally that something like this would have been a permanent update. But it wasn't. Instead, it went through an event. And uh, we're getting another event next part here. So, yeah. This, this whole thing kind of drained me out. So, the next one we're going to do, the next video you're going to see here. Uh, normally, I was going to do another kind of offhand video. But I might look into that. It may just be the next event because, again, I'm trying to catch up while also doing stuff on the side. So, I don't know. I might do something to try to cheer me up. Let's just put it that way. But, yeah, that's it for this video. This uh, That's it for this event. Um, yeah, that's uh, hard to say. I don't know what to say, you know. I, I think I think that's, that's my opinion on the whole matter. And, um... Hopefully, moving forward, we've learned a lesson from this. Uh, if I needed to say what the biggest offenders were, there were three. The first one was time. It was so limited with how much time we got. Had this event started with actually giving us the 10 plus the 14 to giving us 24 days, I think this event would have not been as bad as it could be. The second of all was how the lay, the layout was all done. Basically, having somebody stop and then having somebody be 80k. There's no way anyone can get 80k, right? Like, it was even a challenge for me to get up to 50k on something while also getting other stuff too. So, I'm not really a fan of items that cost a lot and are not worth getting. Like, if it was something cool then I can understand it being hard to get, but getting a, a item that basic, I, I don't really see the justification of it. Now, if it was like 10k, I think that would have been fine. But, you know, the forcing all the people, and the, this is the other problem too, the, the cost was so high. The fact of the matter is, this felt like a cash grab, and I don't think that was the case. Honestly, in my opinion, I think this was just executed poorly. And um, and it shows, because the next update that came up uh, wasn't as terrible as this one was. But I'll talk to that when it comes up to it. So, I mean, hopefully you've enjoyed this video for what it was, and hopefully I'll never have to make something like this again. Let's hope this let's hope this never happens. I hope the game goes so well that near the end when this game finally does uh do its farewell that this was the only bad event that ever happened, okay? I, it, the worst I want to see come out of it was a eh, it was okay, right? That's the worst I want to see. I don't want it to go, "Oh, this is this is the worst like you know what I'm trying to say. I'm so clustered right now with like, everything that's going on. So I think that's about it for now. Um, as far as what the next video will be coming up, that will be hard to say. Uh, as of this time, uh, the game has, uh, the other game, the Adam's Family came out, but I wanted to focus my attention on getting Goosebumps done, so I'm kind of debating on whether or not to look at that. But we'll see. But uh, yeah, let me know down below what you thought. Did you play through this event? Did you find any... Uh, like what was did you believe do you agree with what I'm saying here or maybe you disagree I, I like to hear about it and uh, what would you do to improve this update from never happening again because I have a feeling that the development team is watching my videos as we speak and uh, yeah all that other stuff and uh, the next video whatever I'm going to talk about and talk about stuff but uh, yeah I think this video has gone on long enough so thanks for watching uh Leave a like, subscribe, whatever. Make it an YouTube video around the world. But yeah, that's about it for me. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time for whatever comes next for Goosebumps or Town. Until then, bye.